Hey, welcome back to Eurogamer Expo, where we are fresh from a demo of Dying Light. Mike, how did you find it? Um, very much like Dead Island, but with free running. I think that's what everyone's expecting, and that's exactly what it is. But I'm the world's biggest Dead Island apologist, I think, probably. So uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think the, the free running stuff does actually add a fair amount, because because of the way the open world's sort of set out, it's it's much more cluttered and, you know, you kind of, I think certainly in Dead Island, you'd kind of look around and go, oh, if only I could get up to that rooftop and kind of have a look around and stuff. That's exactly what you can do in this game. Uh, and it's really, really cool being able to kind of plot your route past zombies because they're all kind of milling around, mostly at street level, um, uh, certainly during the daytime. Obviously, at nighttime, the game changes dramatically, apparently, but we haven't had a chance to play that. Um, but you get the zombies kind of milling around at street level, and you're there kind of working out your stepping stones to get where you want to go. Uh, and it's really cool, there's just little things like, uh, if you see a building which has like a, a sort of wooden board over the roof, you know that if you drop from a certain height, you're gonna go through that and end up down on the ground where all the zombies are. Uh, it's worth mentioning that there are a ton of zombies. I mean, I don't know how many, how sort of fraught things got for you, but uh, I headed up to the overpass, which we've seen in a few of the trailers, a kind of big sort of broken freeway up at the top. And that's where the mission objective was for this six minute demo. Uh, you had to go and find some bodies and things. Um, and up there, there was just tons and tons. As you'd imagine, like a motorway, everyone's been infected by, uh, as zombies and their cars are all wrecked and stuff. And they're all kind of milling around. And that was really, really cool. Hopping from like rooftop to rooftop of these cars, trying to avoid getting caught. Yeah, there's a shade of uh, Mirror's Edge. I actually felt pretty strongly because the uh, the jumping and vaulting is on the right bumper, and then the sliding is on is on the B. And you're plotting a path through the rooftops uh, in the same way as you'd identify a path in Mirror's Edge. With like you say, wooden rooftops are a no go for landing on hard. Uh, but then you can spot ropes to climb up towards and uh, and things to v slide under. I guess. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty generous as well you know you can get quite close and as long as you're holding the rb button you will grab that thing so i had a few moments where i was just sort of on the edge and it, it kind of stuck me to it and i think one of the things that people hated about dead island was just how kind of clunky the controls are and how easy it was to get stuck on stuff now they've kind of they've really taken that to heart and done a number on the, the sort of free running stuff and now you feel totally empowered and kind of able to clamber over everything and you know make really big leaps and things the only thing i was a bit sad about was having played dead island riptide with the guy with the amazing kick that is able to boot zombies for miles. In this demo, my kick was really weedy. I, there's, there's a bit where there's a really conveniently placed uh, spike board, essentially, that clearly you're supposed to kick zombies into. But with the character as it was in the demo, I had nowhere near the power to do that. <laughs> So you can also do a, a, a kind of crazy sort of Mirror's Edge style slide and kind of take them out at the shins. But um, I think given uh, what Dead Island was like, I think you'll, you'll be able to kind of boost your character up and, and kind of unlock new abilities. Certainly in one of the trailers, I've seen a full on sort of WWE style like drop kick, which sends them flying. And I'm really looking forward to, to unlocking some more of those kind of physical moves and things like that. Again, the weapons we had to play with, all, all I had was an ax and, um, there was a machete in the uh, in the map because you did fight some humans, some kind of like psychotic humans. But I wasn't able to pick up the machete because you needed to be like level 39. Now I don't know how whether that's just like an artificially like a high level uh, just for the demo. But we were just running around with the lags. But you could still get some really satisfying like decapitations of the zombies and stuff. And I, again, just the sheer number of the zombies, they felt like this overwhelming force. They don't need to be sort of fast or, or aggressive because there are just so many of them. And, and you can be like sprinting past and they've got neat things like they'll grab at you and you'll be kind of slightly knocked off balance. And it's kind of, you really feel like you just escaped a, a kind of a zombie attack there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a game that might real really deliver on that promise of kind of the zombies are a slow threat, and as long as you're careful with your planning and you, you make sure you're cautious, then you can avoid them. But it's when you get lazy or kind of, uh, or, or you're just not careful enough, that's when you're going to get caught. Right, and outrunning and evading zombies is that much more feasible now that it's not quite so, you're not hampered by stamina in the same way as you were in Dead Island. Yeah, so there's less less of a stamina effect, certainly in the demo we played, um, which I thought was great. You know, that's one of the things with, I think one of the things they tuned for uh, Riptide was the stamina system, because I think people find it just really annoying. And this guy's clearly a much healthier, much fitter guy. So he can, you know, he can sprint almost indefinitely, which is is great, you know. And, and yeah, that, that feeling of freedom, that feeling of running away from zombies is, is, is much more exciting. Now, what we don't know is what it's going to be like at night time, because as I understand it, the, the volatiles come out at night and they are much faster, much more 
more dangerous. So you're gonna have to get everything you need to do done during the day because at night time you don't want to be being chased. I'm gonna assume they can climb as well because I did a lot of pausing on rooftops waiting while everyone gathered around me, you know, feeling quite safe up only six or seven foot off the ground. But I'm gonna assume the volatiles can climb. I also I also enjoyed, in Dead Island you had that thing where you would sprint and sprint and a zombie would chase you for miles and you'd be gradually running out of stamina and it just become this like, sort of uh, um, jog, jog unto death. Um, and I'm, enjoy I'm looking forward to not having to do that anymore. Yeah, again, uh, just having those little islands, those little mo moments of sanctuary uh, on slightly raised uh, things does allow you to, even, even, even when you are running, you're never running for too long before there's somewhere you can kind of hide and kind of assess the situation. And it, it really changes the rhythm of the game over Dead Island. Um, I also like the fact that there are like human enemies in there. I, I met up with a couple of psychos um, with machetes wearing gas masks and stuff. So with Dead Island, there were just different flavors of zombies and that's kind of, that's fine. But actually the idea that the survivors are the most dangerous thing, it was never really explored outside of cutscenes and things like that. So they're really, they're giving it a go uh, in Dying Light. And I think it's going to work quite well as long as that combat sort of stays up because they were much more agile and much, you know, presumably again, able to climb. Uh, uh, so yeah, a lot, a lot of questions still. It was only a six minute demo, but really good to get my hands on it and get a feel for how much smoother the, the controls are because that was, I think, a lot of people's major criticism of Dead Island. Right, and would you say Dying Light is closer to your uh, real world zombie uh, apocalypse scenario in that you're going to be running away from zombies rather than trying to decapitate every last one of them? Well, as you can see, I'm a fine figure of a man and, and excellent at free running as well. So yeah, it's exactly how it would go. No. Um, yeah, I think I think avoidance is is the thing that uh, is the most interesting about zombie games. You know, we can all play a first-person shooter. We can all play like a hack and slash game and run around charging around, killing things. But this is much more about, more about planning and about uh, you know setting your route out, knowing exactly where you're going to go, and then executing it in one sort of fluid movement. And I think that's a really interesting prospect. All right, so looking forward to that. Absolutely. All right, that was Dying Light here at Eurogamer Expo. Thanks for joining us. We've been outside Xbox.